so. Mm -hmm. My beautiful, beautiful, mm. beautiful, beautiful friend mm. and teacher. Mm. Will you please introduce yourself and tell everyone mm. who you are and where you're from? Yes, my name is uh, Winaweda Deoswade. And um, my clan mother, Grandma Isabel Miracle from the Six Nations Indian Reservation. She gave me my name in the longhouse, which means something bright. I was born with the name Venus Bright Star. And I am indigenous. I come from the Creek Nation, Mishash tribe in Alabama. I really didn't come from Alabama. You know, we have always been here on this land. That's something where the government put us at. So it's really that we are, uh, we're indigenous people to Turtle Island. I am indigenous person to Turtle Island. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And let's just take a moment. I just want to take a moment to say thank you to spirit and our spirits because we met in such a mm. magical way. And now we can see that they were, mm. they had a plan. <laughs> so, <laughs> and they're blessing this. So I, I just want to take a moment and um, you are my master teacher on gratitude. Take a moment and um, as you've taught me, really sink into the gratitude for all of mm. the elements that have come together for us to be able to do this. So one of the things that I like to talk about again and again is you know spirit is there when mm. timing comes together. Mm. Always. Um, would, mm. would you share how we met? and what, mm. what that was like. It was just magic. We were at a native art festival in Scottsdale, Arizona, which they have it going on every year um, from mm -hmm. December to April. Native art market. A native art amazing. market. Amazing, started yeah. by the amazing Heather. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh. amazing family, sisters and mother and, mother and, mm -hmm. and all. They're beautiful. They're every last one of the people, the vendors, everyone is a magical. And it's at the Talking Tree, Talking Stick, mm -hmm. Talking Stick Casino. Mm. And I uh, met amazing, amazing people. And this amazing woman named Frances. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so she showed up and she was just magic. <clears throat> it was like love at first sight. Yeah, it was. And, and then we supposed to got together the next day. But she was flying off to Mongolia. Mm, I think Sweden. I was going to be flying mm, off Sweden. Sweden, yeah. And I remember mm. I walked up. I mean, I, I do mm. what I'm told. Mm. And so spirits asked me to walk up to your booth. And do you remember you kind of um, mm. like this for a moment? Mm. And you looked at me. Mm. <laughs> and we both had that moment of soul recognition. Mm -hmm, like, wow. That, that was mm -hmm. it. That was magic. It. Just magic. 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 We exchanged beautiful gifts and beautiful spirit, and we started attracting all mm, of those people. Oh, that was gosh. really, really mm, synchronous. It was. Okay. We brought in some amazing okay. people. Yeah. Yes, We're just in a young, just young energy, old energy, medium energy, all energy, <laughs> just came in all at one time. It's like wow, they were all just bathing themselves in our blessings, in, your, in, your blessings. in our blessings. So in our blessings, so one of the, you've taught me so, so, so much, mm. Venus. I couldn't begin to capture all of it. Mm. Um, one of the things that you've taught me the most is um, just, I, gosh, so many things. Mm -hmm. Gratitude mm. and how to always give it back to spirit, mm. how to walk humbly. What would you say is the most important thing to do in order to honor the spirits that are always around us. Oh my gosh, all they want us to do is this. Can you hold this? And all they want us to do is put our hands together <clears throat> and breathe. Because you're putting your energy together, the right and the left. And then they want us to bow and say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And raise up and open our arms and give mm. gratitude and just receive and just receive all their blessings because they have so many blessings to give us and they want to share this with us mm. and when you do this you can feel the presence 
of the great spirits all around you because there's so much joy and so much blessing. So, oh, it's so beautiful. And all we have to do, the only job we have is to be in gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this beautiful headdress that was a gift from the from from Brazil. And it was another spiritual enlightening how this happened. Even to um, all my 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 robe was a gift from the spirit world. All the spirits came and they gifted me this. They were there for my initiation of my of me becoming into this um, new earth, this new way. These are all gifts. And all we have to do is just say thank you and thank you and just receive and feel the blessing. And stay inside. Stay inside right here. Yeah, stay inside of your heart. Talk to your higher self. It knows everything. It's like a built-in built-in knowledge. It is a built-in knowledge. And they and we came into this earth with it. So we give gratitude and we give thanks for that knowledge. And all we have to do is just ask and just just sit back and enjoy it. Enjoy the answers that's coming. Mm, and I'm in gratitude to this amazing Thank woman Thank that's been my teacher. Everything's a teacher. Oh, she is definitely a teacher. <laughs> we we definitely are teachers for each other, though. Mm -hmm. It has been an, an absolutely beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful ride with you, Venus. Mm -hmm. And I think one of mm -hmm. one of mm -hmm. the, you know, I was, um, honestly, I was raised in a way that I don't think we were taught to be grateful. Mm -hmm. We had everything. I was raised in, like, the dominant white American culture, and we mm -hmm. were raised that if we want something, we can have it. And things just become objects. In mm -hmm. some ways, people almost become objects. I don't think gratitude is... Um, something that had to be reawakened in me and um, in your gratitude are your blessings and your mm, power and yes. and one of the things there are hundred <laughs> hundred thousand things I just absolutely love about you <laughs> from when I've known you when we talk I say Venus you're so powerful and what do you always say yes I <laughs> am yes I am I am powerful you can feel it when you say, I am powerful. You can just feel the star being just, man, they're just dancing all around us. Oh, they're just so happy. They just like do the, oh, do the dance. Because they want us to acknowledge that. They want us to, to, um, to, um, to say, yes, yes, because that was ripped from us as a child. Mm -hmm. You selfish person, you. How can you be so selfish? And we were raised like that. You were raised the way you were raised, and mm -hmm. I was raised the same way, but it's all the same. Mm -hmm. It's just to keep you suppressed, mm -hmm. keep you from being that I am, mm -hmm. that I am. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it so much. It's been such a, such a powerful teaching to me. And, and when you say, yes, I am powerful, mm -hmm. what comes to me is also mm -hmm. the humbleness in it. Mm -hmm. How do you see the relationship between standing in your power and mm. also being humble with spirit? Mm. Gosh, that's so hard. When you say that I am, the, the I am, that I am, that's just humbleness right there. Because I am. I am mm. humble. I am in gratitude. I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all our job is. Mm. You know, we find a feather. On the ground, you find a cat coming down the road, you find an owl sitting on the branch, like, wow, thank you, thank you. You don't want to eat, you don't want to drink, you came to bless you. And all we have to do is just stop and say, thank you. The trees, the sounds behind us, the nature. And all we do is say, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And we're on your land. Yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I mean, this is like and a thank whoa, you. but yeah, this this land is something. And you've been here for twenty mm, over twenty years. Yeah. Mm. 
And you were teaching me to learn from your chickens, humbleness. Oh, amazing, amazing chickens. And I know they're just, people call them just chickens, but they're more than chickens. They have such a soul, such a spirit, such an energy about them. And they talk to you and they give gratitude. They taught, they teach you. They taught me how to stay humble. They just like, they mm -hmm. stop and they just come behind you and they just like humble themselves. And they taught me how to stay humble. Mm. They just stay humble, you know, like, like just humble yourself. You know, so beautiful. Well, one of the things that we've been talking about, Venus, is just this mm. idea of words. And the word shaman is so mm. misused. No. And medicine woman. Mm. And I was talking to you about how mm. I feel um, words complicate things and sometimes there's a place for them. How do you identify? If someone, like, how would you explain yourself to other people? Mm, do you I, have words that you feel fit you? Words don't, words are just mumble jumble and words are just to confuse you and keep you suppressed and keep you uh, ignorant. Mm. It's the energy behind it. Mm. It's the energy behind it. We have no labels. Yeah. A tree. The, 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 the sound back here. Do we have a name for that? Hmm. The trees. We call them a tree. We call, they're, they're really the standing people. Mm. The grass that we're on. Grass. What the heck is a grass? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's our carpet. The, the beautiful evening, night. You know it's dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you call it? You know, it's like, what do you call yourself? I'm a two-legged. Mm -hmm. And you call yourself nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel that when you say it, and I recognize another one of your teachings to me, which is the the illusion of separation that arises, at least in the English language, and how you taught me to to really, really deepen my reverence for all life, mm. all life, all life, all life. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. mm. absolutely. It's all about just being in gratitude. And giving thanks. Mm. One of the things that I'm interested in is um, I find it so fascinating that I travel all over the world mm. and I meet, meet people, I'm going to say like us, <laughs> <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but like us, it means we communicate with spirits in the spirit realm. Do you think that's safe to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're right here with us. Mm -hmm. They're in the spirit world, they're in this world, they're in the grass. I mean, they're everywhere. Yeah. They're everywhere. We're talking to spirits now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called AI. <laughs> the AI. The, the AI. spirit of AI. <laughs> the, spirit, the spirit of AI. We're talking, we're talking to them. Mm -hmm. Now they're talking to us because they're listening to us. Well, that's what I find so mm -hmm. interesting is that when I travel all over the world, I meet people like us. Mm -hmm. And even if we don't share a language, we have shared, um, I'm just always blown away that we have shared experiences of reality. It's just, it's just tripping me out more and more. You know, mm -hmm. cultures that have, that I know have never met each other are seeing generally the same thing. So from your view, one of my favorite questions to ask, and I did not tell you I was going to ask this. How do you see this soul? And when a soul gets scared, where does the soul go? Well, first place, there's really no scared. Scared is just a word somebody made up mm. to scare you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. I mean, for real, though, just think about it. Yeah. It's like happiness. Yeah. You know, how do you describe happiness? <laughs> you know, I'd rather be happy and go to the soul, mm. soul spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, oh, oh there's kitty, 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 You're a little bit blocking the view, bud. Come on. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. 
<laughs> Come on. We knew they were going to do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go, little buddy. Mm -hmm. And so the soul is like your, your higher self, the, the being that's inside you, that guides you and directs you. You know, when it leaves you, you know. I just sent my partner, my um, the person I spent many years and years with me, he taught me. And he's. <laughs> <laughs> The cats see their yeah. souls, how yeah. they see the energy. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're feeling it. Mm -hmm. They're feeling it. <laughs> and he taught me so much leaving his body. And I was on that journey with him and it just taught me so much when they leave the souls, who shows up? The thunder beam shows up. The cloud nation shows up. The light shows up to come and get our loved ones. Yeah. And so, you know, it's like, you know, like, wow. <laughs> we're supported. Oh, supported. We're supported. Oh, we're supported here. Like, we are we call ourselves alive, but are we really? Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> is this no. a dream? Is like this we a dream? About, yeah. Yeah. Is it really a dream? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it's like, wow. You know? Feels like it. It does. Mm hmm It does. Um, one of the... Let me just sit and think. Mm. Maybe what I want to ask is, we both have in our experiences seen healers with really big egos, mm. and uh, we both have a deep um, sense that there's no place for ego in this work. How do you see ego um, uh, how do I want to say it? Why? Why how do you explain why ego has no place? What's the mm. what's the harm? What's the harm of having a huge ego being a big healer? Why why can ego not survive? Mm, so powerful. That's such a beautiful question. And I think everyone should really ask himself that question. Why am I being arrogant over here? It's I, I, I. Ego is an I. You know, it's an I, 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 I. But you know, it's really not I. All we are is service to the universe, service to the creator. It's all powerful to be a service. And how can we be a service and still have that ego going on. You can't. <laughs> Who are you serving? Yeah, I know. Who the hell you're serving? I know. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, and it's nice to serve yourself. You know, honor yourself. Mm. But, you know, when it's time to, you know, to be there and, and to honor others and, and, and um, you know, if you run over something, like a dog or a cat or a chicken or a, a turtle, you know, that's your ego if, if it keeps on going. And if you pull over and give gratitude and pick the little being up and put them on the side of the road and, and, and send them onto the spirit world, that's a service. Yeah. You know, but you've seen a little child sitting on the side of the road that got hit, you would definitely pull over. So, or, yeah. yeah. Since I've met you, I've been horrified to learn that my whole life I've been driving past Road oh, Hill and I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. But after meeting you, I think I told you I saw a hedgehog. He's just been just been hit. He was in the middle of the road, and it was clear he was going to get hit again. And I, I heard you saying, oh, look at this poor soul. Like, there's no dignity in that. You know, pick him up. And I, I turned my car around, and I picked up this poor little soul and asked him where he wanted to be put. And, uh, and did he speak to you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. I... I'm so grateful to you, and it's just so surprising mm -hmm. to me. Before I met you, there's always so much more to learn, and of course I would say, oh, I'm so sorry, but mm -hmm. where was I that I was mm -hmm. seeing a, a poor, sweet, dead animal on the road and just driving past and not thinking about, like, where's, where's this? 
would I want to be left on the road? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Even when we break down on the side of the road. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> you know, yeah. you can get a flat tire yeah. or maybe something happened to your vehicle and you're on the side of the road. Gosh, you know, please, somebody, somebody pull over and yeah. assist me. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing. You're just constantly opening my eyes. Mm-hmm. Every time I have the miracle of spending time with you. Yeah, it's, it's powerful it's for me my too. Eyes again. You open my eyes again, again, again. Because my eyes are being open too, as well as being a server. Yeah. You know, spirit speaking. It's not me. It's pure yeah. spirit. All I am is a spirit helper. I came here to serve. That that makes me um, think about how I was 35 when I first heard spirit, mm. and uh, you're only 35. <laughs> oh, I'm a little older now. <laughs> um, I'm 42 now. I was 35 mm. when I heard, first heard Spirit. Mm. And I didn't understand what was happening to me. And the only thing I had was Western psychology, which would have put labels on me that I won't even say I use because mm. that's a story and we don't need to accept someone else's story about us. Um, but it was, it was so scary. And now when I travel, I realize... Oh shit, this is just a story that's very common across so many cultures and times. How sad that my culture got so disturbed that when something very natural happens to us, we don't even know what's happening. Can you, um, so I'm always curious when I meet other healers, did you hear spirit from when you were born? Or was there a time when everything, like for me at 35, everything changed. Was there a time where you kind of felt like, wow, now I'm stepping into this? Mm. Well, it's not really you're stepping into it. You know, you really came here to do, to do this work. Mm. You really came here to do this work. And, and, and then when you, uh, like I was in the corporate world, that didn't feel right. It didn't feel good. It didn't touch my spirit. I was all in my ego head, you know. And then now I'm in my heart and I could feel everything. I could see everything. I could see. I could hear. I can hear clearer now. And it's like uh, even as a child, you know, the spirits were all around me, always, uh, always telling me to go do things, even as a little baby. You know, and so my whole life was like that, and then I finally like, wow, this is interesting. So let me let me see what they say about this. Or let me see. Them. Let me <laughs> let me. It was like pushing buttons. It's like okay, let me push this button. And where am I gonna go here? Let me push that button. <laughs> and see, oh, that's going, yeah, I'm like oh, I like this. Yeah. You know, and when I was in the other world, when I pushed buttons, you know, I got they beat me up. I got beat up. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that that reminds me of how we've been talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I've been hearing the words a lot lately. It can be your medicine or it can be your poison. Mm, yes, right. What right. is that? Mm. What do you hear? Right, <laughs> right. It is. You know, and why? And why? Uh, and why have anything else but pure bliss and pure mm. joy? You know. Yeah. Why not? I mean, yeah. I choose that. I choose to be happy all the time. Yeah, you do. I choose to be blissful. You wake all up. The, I wake up. Like Blessings, this. Francis. I know. Great awakening, oh. Francis. Waking up here is amazing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bless you. Bless yeah. you. You know, not like, you know, go kick in the bed. Wake up, girl. What you doing sleeping all day? And, you know, no. Be gentle. Be loving to your spirit. Yeah. Because it's loving and gentle to me, mm. you know, so I give gratitude, I give thanks to this. Do you think that it's possible, if people are called, do you think it's possible for them to say no? They do that all the time. And you know, without we, without we, any, mm-hmm. <laughs> what happens? Well, you know, we, you know, we, we sit on, we, 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 we're called the day you walk into this planet Earth. Planet Earth is really a school. And the way the spirit showed me how this is a school is that, and it's like uh, when we're kids, our parents sent us away to school, and um, and then when they um, and then and then after school's over, and then they sent us home uh, to go be with our parents, mm. and our parents is our mothers and our fathers and all of our ancestors, all the star beings, everything. We were a part of everything. And then, um, then we're ready the next day to go back to school again, 
you know, and that's the way it feels. We're in school 24 mm. hours a day. Mm. So either if, and if you don't learn it, you're going you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> to no have... No big deal. No big deal because you're coming right back <laughs> yeah. to learn that. Yeah. You know, because I remember being in school, they used to keep me in in, um, in, in the classes uh, for years, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because I didn't get it the first time. It's like, huh. And then it made a lot of sense now that I'm older and now that I am, it's like, wow. So the spirits want you to always, like, want you to learn and want you to grow. Because that's what we're here for. We're pure spirits. Mm. You know, we're in this physical flesh. and um, But we really are pure spirits. That's all we are. Look at energy. Mm. You know, energy. That's all we are is pure energy. You know. We're here to heal. We're here to, to be with um, our loved ones. And even when people don't love us, we just love them back. Because that's our, that's our ways. That's who we are. That mm, so beautiful. Thank you, spirits. Yeah. Thank you. It's not even me. It's, um, I know it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I feel know. them all around us. <laughs> Hello, thank you. I know. It's like pure spirit acknowledging us. So what do you see? Uh, if there was something that you wanted to share with the younger folks, as, mm. you know, so much wisdom has been lost and we know it, it's it's a process of of um kind of walking in the dark a lot um what do you wish the young the young kids would get mm. what do you wish they knew mm. about well they're really getting everything they're getting mm. because you know we're in a physical world and and they eventually walk into their path Mm -hmm. You know, but we as parents and we as grandparents need to walk first mm -hmm. and be that teacher and be that person. Mm -hmm. You know, because if we're not, how do we expect our children to be? Mm -hmm. They only learn from us. Mm -hmm. You know, they learn from the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Hi. Oh, his little sister brother. Hi. Well, is there anything else that you would want to make mm -hmm. sure? Before we go, mm. just anything else you would want to share with folks? Mm. Lessons that you think would be nice to learn earlier in the path than later in the path? Oh, my gosh. Being gratitude nice every day. <laughs> wake up. up. <laughs> wake up saying thank you. Mm. All throughout the day, even if you eat a tomato, a, uh, a potato, or... or Whatever you do, drinking water. Thank mm. you. Thank you for this water. Thank you. Thank you. What it took for that water to come down off of that mountain and, and go through all the rocks and crystals and, and all the beautiful the valleys where it came from just so we can have this glass of water. Isn't that, mm, isn't that a miracle? It's yeah. so powerful. It's so amazing. Mm. Even even to vegetables, even to even to herbs and everything, you know. We say thank you because once you eat this, you become one with it. And we say thank you. We say thank you because if it's not good for us, and then somehow, some way, it just kind of just goes away, <laughs> you know. And we say thank you for these beautiful four legs. They just showed up the other day at the house. Yeah. Somebody dropped them off. And they are the most loving and most awesome little kittens. And all they want to do is just love. And that's what I, I personally feel that's all we want to do. All we want to do is be loved too. Yeah, everything else is just what we're learning right? to undo. Right? So that we can just be in love mm. and in gratitude. And right? Yeah. Just like if you said, time. just like if you, like if I'm hollering at you all day or being mean to you, you're going to be like, I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to find a way to get out of here. Yeah. And you're going to yeah. want to run. Get up. You know, but if, you know, like, great awakening, Francis. <laughs> I, I, then I call you up yeah. and say, can I come? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I say, oh, my yeah. God, these doors are always yeah. open. You know, always. Mm. Well, thank and you. And so, so it keeps a smile on your face. Yeah. It, it makes you happy. Mm. <clears throat> Venus, I, I have learned mm. and I will continue to learn. Mm from you and it's um, a real 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 honor to be able to mm. make this video with you and share this because I have so many magical people I know who I want to know about you and I want them to know your Thank magic you. 
beautiful. Thank you, Zena. I'm a deeply it was gratitude. Mm. Thank you. Oh my God. And you can good. find Venus Bright Star. Mm -hmm. Venus Bright Star, my email. Venus Bright Star 8 at gmail.com. Or you can Facebook me. Venus Bright Star. That's right. Keep on giving gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Mm. Thank you, love. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. You notice how we don't go like bless you, bless you, bless you. Yeah. <laughs> we bless you. you. Know, we go like bless you, yeah, bless so you, bless true. you. Yeah, amazing.